wanted to take you along and share with you some running tips that have really allowed me to progress as a runner. Right now, that half marathon, my goal is one hour 17. And just so you know, when I first started running, I think my fastest was like one hour 45. So really have taken down the, the times. And a major portion of that is being able to log a lot of miles without injuries. All right, so that's what we're talking about today is how to prevent injuries from me, what has worked for me. Let me explain how I used to run and how I used to think I prevented injuries. The first thing is I just ran and I followed a lot of what people told me to do, which is, you know, run and then foam roll, stretch. Um, and I assumed that was enough to prevent injuries. It's not. The difference is I used to just run, meaning I would keep my heart rate pretty high and I assumed as long as I kept my heart rate high, I was improving. Over time, I would get faster and I'd foam roll and uh, stretch to kind of keep those uh, in injuries at bay. But I wasn't doing any cross training really. I mean, I was doing some, but I was mainly doing it for the, uh, the looks. So I was doing a lot of upper body. Fast forward to now, I've been injury free for three years and my mileage, my volume these last three years has been higher than it's ever been, like by far. Now, instead of just run, I train. I have specific runs I have designed for that day. Here are the four different kind of runs I do. The first one, which is majority of my mileage, I'd say 70 to 80% of my mileage, I run first thing in the morning and I just go easy. All right, I'm probably in zone two majority of the time, be popping. Uh, for me, that's about an eight to an 8.30 minute mile. And I do that every single morning, first thing in the morning. And I do not care. I don't look at my watch for pace. I just go off of feel and make sure that it's easy. Um, second type of run I do is progression runs, which those are where I start out pretty easy and every single mile I pump, I, I uh, get a little faster. So I'll, normally mine are six to eight miles for my progression runs. And I'll probably start at either an eight minute mile or a 730 minute mile. And I will keep going a little faster until the very end, my last mile is my fastest mile. And I try to work it where that's about a six minute mile for me. Those are designed so I can know what it feels like when I pick up the speed, what it does to my, my gait, to my cadence, how it feels. Um, those are more getting used to um, what each of those different speeds feels like. And then being able to get to top speeds, but doing it a little bit smarter where you're not just going straight into running fast. All right, that's second. Third is tempos. I probably do mine a little too fast, being honest but I normally have between four to eight mile tempo runs and I do this twice a week and those are just flat out go fast. <laughs> those are, you know, normally right around race pace or maybe even a little faster. So for me, it's between six minute mile all the way up to 5.30 a mile and hold that and just uh, get used to the pain. And then the fourth is long runs. Every Saturday or Sunday, I do long runs. And this is where I am just logging in long days, a lot of uh, time on the legs. I have worked in my training plan where majority of those are gonna be easy, but then I do have probably two to three during my training block that are going to be at a hard effort pace. It's going to be close to, so for example, I did a 16 miler a couple weeks ago and I held a 6.30 minute mile, um, so semi close to my half marathon, but I went longer uh, or farther at a little bit slower pace. Those are the different type of runs I do, and that is training versus just running. Um, so that's the first thing that I do to prevent injuries is have a design plan, and it's not just running, it's training. Second 
Number two is shoes. <laughs> How critical your shoes are. What I used to do is I'd buy one pair of shoes. I did go to a, a running shoe and they told me I pronate. So I needed stability shoes, which is true. And I bought a pair of Asics GT 2000s. The cheapest stability shoe I could find. And that is all I ran in. I ran in the same pair of shoes until they eventually weren't good and I was not trading them out when I should. I probably waited way too long. And I trained in the same shoe every day that I ran. Now, costs a lot of money, but I have a shoe rotation. I've got specific shoes that I run slow in. For example, right now, I'm in the New Balance Fresh Foam version, Fresh Foam More version fours. This is actually my third pair. I love these shoes. These are my beep boppers. These are my easy day, uh, every day. These are my daily trainers. Then I've got a little bit faster effort. I've got the, I've got two different kinds. I've got the New Balance uh, 1080s and I have got the uh, Saucony Endorphin Speeds. Those are going to be when I wanna pick up the pace a little bit and do a little bit more uh, steady running, meaning I am holding a little bit faster pace for me, like a seven, between a seven to a 7.30 minute mile. And those are specifically for that. I don't use those for race day. I don't use those for easy days. That's all I wear those for. Then I've got my long day shoes, which depending on what kind of a long day I do, but I'm going to either way wear my, these uh, Fresh Foam version four mores or New Balance SC Trainer or something, I don't know. Too many different, uh, too long of names. But those are super bouncy, responsive, but they're heavy so they keep me from running too fast. Those I can keep a seven minute pace and I feel amazing. Then I've got my race day shoes. So lately I've been using the Nike Next Percent Twos. Love those shoes. And those I use only for either my tempo days or my races. Being able to use multiple shoes, wearing them out when they're probably supposed to be wear worn out versus staying in them too long. And then constantly using different muscle groups because I'm switching up what shoes I'm running in has been critical for me. So I'd highly recommend if you are the type of person who wears and you, you found that perfect pair of shoe that works for you and you only run in that shoe or only that brand, I would say try something new. It will help you prevent injury. That's number two. Number three, and I would say this is probably one of the most important. Like I said before, I did not do hardly any cross training, but all of my injuries, I think majority of my injuries were because I had weak glutes, weak hamstrings. So I had a lot of IT band issues. I had hip bursitis. I, my knees would hurt because of those. Uh, after learning a little bit more, because my wife's a physical therapist, um, of majority of the time you have an injury, you think it's because of that particular muscle. For example, let's say you have a knee injury. You think it's because you got bad knees. No, it's probably because you haven't strengthened your glutes or your legs enough, and so they aren't doing what they're designed to do to prevent your knees from taking full impact or, or bending or uh, doing things that they shouldn't be doing. So now I've been doing a lot of cross training where I'm doing a lot of lunges, I'm doing a lot of workouts to specifically build up my glutes and my legs and my calves and my hamstrings because that has been, I would say, probably the number one thing that has prevented injuries. I would say cross training has been more beneficial by a super long shot than foam rolling or stretching, um, it, yeah. The foam rolling and whatnot is if I have a little, you know, an ache or whatnot. But the reality is, is it's, for me at least, 
it's not going it's a temporary fix not a permanent fix um, getting those muscles built up and they're doing what they need to do is so critical so anyway just wanted to go through kind of what the top three items that have worked for me so again number one train don't just run have designed different runs so you're working different muscles too shoe rotation get different shoes don't run in the same shoe every single day have specifically designed shoes for whatever your designed run is and number three cross train join me i do a lot of workout videos join me a lot of them are designed around uh, cardio or um, workouts that are going to build up the muscles you need to all right okay let's stay active let's stay healthy and let's thrive together thanks everybody bye